Welcome to the 51st anniversary of Barber's stay at Avatar's abode. Now, Barber arrived on the 3rd of June, a Tuesday, in 1958. On the Wednesday, in the afternoon, we were seated in Barber House and Barber was talking to us. After Barber had finished an item he wished to present to us, after a pause, he said, I feel the love that has gone into preparing this place for me. Then after another pause, he said, I name this property Avatar's Abode. Now we were all thinking, if Baba has named this place off his own bat, without being asked, it must surely have some import in his work. Now Baba reinforced this on the Thursday afternoon, when despite the fact that every step he took caused him pain, and when we had met Barber in meeting hall, in the meeting hall, we carried him, we had a special chair to carry him. Barber seemed determined to walk the soil of Avatar's abode. And he walked along the veranda and down to the northeast corner of Barber House. While he was there, you could in those days see the sea. So Baba commented, it was nice you could see, Avatar, see the sea from Avatar's abode. So then it was explained that from the top point of Avatar's abode, you could also see the mountains. Oh, Baba, oh, he thought that was very good. And whilst he was there, he suddenly said, in 700 years, Avatar's abode will become a place of world pilgrimage. So that reinforced the idea that somehow or other, this place has a special place for Baba. So now I'll tell you a little anecdote. We've always been subject, not so much recently, but in the early days to bushfires. And one day I looked out of my house down there and working its way across the northern face of the mountain was a bushfire. So I re rang the Keel Mountain Fire Brigade, which is not a professional job, but a voluntary uh, community of uh, farmers on Avatar's abode. So they came up to help. And that was half past four in the morning. And so we worked our way across the northern face, round below the Bruford house, up to Maya Road. No, no houses except one at the end of Maya Road. So along Maya Road and then duck behind the house and then turn north along Keel Mountain Road, defending houses and sheds on the way. By the time we were halfway between the bottom of the mountain and, and Dadilabar Road, it was 8.30 in the morning. And we're all thankful for the fact that a truckload of men had come up from Caloundra to say, we saw the smoke, mate, come to give you a hand. So the Kiel Mountaineers could totter off home, have a bath, something to eat, and sleep, because we'd gone all night with nothing to eat and no sleep. Now, when Barbara was here in 58, 
He appointed me manager of Avatar's abode during Francis' absence in India. Well, we all thought if he's lucky, he might get three or six months. But apparently the sentence was 10 years with Baba. Can I just hang on to you? So, um, being the manager of Avatar's abode, I wrote a full report of the fire and sent it to Francis. Francis read my report to Baba, and when it finished, Baba dictated a cable. The cable was addressed to Avatar Abiders, which was Baba's sort of a joint name for the Rouse family and the Bruford family that Baba had asked to be the first settlers of Avatar's abode. After he'd dictated the cable, Baba reverted to a little game he'd started with Francis. One day, sitting with the men Mundaly, Baba had said, one can only speculate why, perhaps he's suffering at the time or what, but Baba had said that it was time they dropped the bomb, not a bomb, but the bomb on Mayrazad. So every now and again, he would say to Francis, Francis, when are they gonna drop the bomb? And Francis would think up a suitable answer. Uh, they're working on it now, Baba. It will happen very soon. Hmm. So after Baba had dictated his cable, he said, Francis, <laughs> how, is, how is it? that there's been a fire at Avatar's about and no bomb here. <laughs> Before Francis could make up an answer, Baba answered his own question. He said, Well, of course, I am there too. Jay Baba. Jay Baba. Jay Baba.